Welcome to Media Minute. For this episode, we're talking about some of our first times. We'll be back right after this. Welcome to Media Minute Roundtable. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Vaskowski. And I'm Rachel Edge. And uh, starting things off, I, I think we have to address uh, Apparently, I have a controversial Pokemon opinion. 100%, yeah. yes. Yeah. I see, I, 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 I'll, go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll sit back. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't, don't worry about me. Go ahead, Rachel. I'll chime in later. Well, what's the I issue? Didn't... What's the issue, Rachel? You have probably... We were talking about this before uh, we started recording the show, but I have to say, like, Mike, you have, like, the craziest and most insane, like, favorite and, like, best Pokemon. Like, can you explain <laughs> why? So, so my favorite Pokemon is Geodude, because he's a dude. He's, like, the most generic Pokemon ever, and nobody will ever pick him as his favorite, and that's why he's my favorite. <laughs> oh, it's so like it's a sympathy thing. Yeah. I, I can relate. Oh, so I can relate to Geo, dude. What oh. about that one that's like, a, like an ice cream cone? It's <laughs> a sandcastle too. Well, <laughs> there's some pretty <laughs> pathetic Pokemon out there. there. There are. There are some pretty pathetic Pokemon out there. But like, oh, how many all right. yeah. why, many why are you dogging Geo, dude? Have <laughs> He's no Zubat, that's for sure. Oh my God! Don't get me started <laughs> on Zubat. <laughs> but no, if we're gonna talk about favorite Pokemon, though, like I gotta say, like. Out of all of the Pokemon, I gotta say Rockruff. Okay, I think he's my favorite. For sure. I, I have no no idea besides like the initial generation of like Pokemon. So, <laughs> oh, fair enough. Okay, yeah. The like, one, the, um... the one fifty one. That's that. That's it. That's that's where I start and stop. Yeah. If it's anything older than Squirtle, yeah. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> older? Don't you mean younger? True. Yeah. Yeah, I do. True. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> But yeah, no, Rockruff, he's super cool. Like, he has two different evolves. He can, it's, there's like a sun type and a moon type. So he basically evolves into a werewolf. Okay. It's, it's pretty sick. It's actually a really cool Pokemon. And I think he's, don't quote me on this, like, fourth generation? Okay. My guy's a rock. He's, he's, yeah. <laughs> My guy's water. <laughs> well, who's yours, Who's Chris? your favorite, Chris? Favorite Pokemon? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going Squirtle. Yeah. Oh, you're OG. Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Squirtle's cool. Squirtle is pretty sweet. Yeah. He's, he's you don't seem like, very impressed. He's no rock. <laughs> he would destroy him in like two moves. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I Water so. gun? <laughs> Geodude's going down. Well, I don't know if a Squirtle could take a Geodude. Like, of I feel course like it could he take could. maybe a Wartortle or a Blastoise. I, no, I, I no, can't even Squirtle remember could. what like the weaknesses are, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, water takes down a rock every time. Yeah, I think so. No, it it, it does, but at the, like, but if you think about it logically, though, like if it was like a real life thing, I don't know if that would actually work. What <laughs> the real no, like, the real life Pokemon? Yeah, I'm thinking like if this if like Pokemon were real, like I don't know if like the same thing would apply, just because it's like when you have like water over like a yeah. bunch of like rock, like in a waterfall or something. Yeah, it, it takes, would like, take like a thousand years. Millions to of years, right? Erode. So. I don't well, know if it would work. They they, like they make drills out of laser. Or sorry, not lasers, Jesus. Oh, was <laughs> water. Yeah, you're water. Trying <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're trying to think of. But yeah, no, they're like in a beam. They use like, like high-pressured water to cut through stone. <laughs> That's no, no, true. no, and I, I, I get time. that, but I don't think and a it's squirrel cool. would have I've seen it in real power. life. It's amazing. Yeah, but my guy's a rock. <laughs> yeah, and he gets <laughs> sliced <laughs> with a laser beam of water. That, that's my only defense. My guy's a rock. That's a great defense. And that's why Geodude is my favorite. <laughs> that's not a defense, though. That's just a description. Exactly. <laughs> All right, my guy's a turtle. A Checkmate. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, did you have a pet rock growing up? Like, is there like a... <laughs> no, no. Do you want one? See, no, I'm good. Okay, yeah. just checking. And this has know, nothing though. to do with the topic that we... Uh, yeah, have. should we start oh. the show? But yeah, actually Probably. start the show. I think we had to address that though, since it seemed to be a fairly yes. controversial opinion. I've just never heard. I've never heard somebody see. And that's why like, it's my favorite because nobody else will pick Geodude as their favorite. Watch, there's there's well, somebody there's out here being no like Geodude. I, I like to be special. <laughs> if you said Pidgey, 
<laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> I'd be able to say, what are you talking there's about? There's, like... Well, because there's, like, a few Pokemon out there that, like, you just know. Like, nobody's, like... Yeah, who's picking so. Voltorb? <laughs> right? Like, sweet, I get Voltorb. It's like, you get an electric ball. Yeah. I, I choose you, Chandelier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, but like, we are trying to start the show, aren't we? Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, so uh, as I, I mentioned... I just had to bring that up. Yeah, as I, I mentioned that that during the intro, we're going to be talking about some of our firsts. Yeah, first-time things. Yep, first-time things yep. Yeah, in entertainment. Um, starting off, first video game. Yeah. Yeah. Console or game? Both. All right, I'll, so, go, I'll, I'll go console. Yeah, let's start with the console. Actually, okay, I might have to amend the rules a little bit. Okay. Because the first Uh-oh. console I played... Didn't belong to me. It was my cousin's. Yeah. But it was ColecoVision. Oh, uh, yeah. Which was fantastic. Whoa. Had yeah. that number pad and everything, that, that weird dial. Yeah, I'm like, uh, same thing. I had a cousin that had uh, ColecoVision. It's always the cousins. Yeah. So shout out, shout out to cousins. Shout out to cousins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I, yeah, I remember playing like Rocky. I think there was a nice. rock, Rocky game. Yeah, I don't know, but if there was, it was probably awesome. <laughs> yeah. But oh, yeah, sorry. I get into my answer. <laughs> uh, Atari 7800. Yeah. We had the nice. uh, twenty six hundred, I think. Yeah, there's twenty six and seventy eight. I think actually, you know what? I might have had. I might have had the twenty six. Twenty six was like the Be- smaller one. had had the wood grain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> because it had. Oh, I'm probably gonna screw up the focus on this, but yeah. boom, ET. Yeah, the much Atari ET, the, the much fabled yes. ET, which is famously uh, like thousands there's of copies got dumped into a landfill somewhere. I am destroying the yeah. focus on this. But I mean, yeah. I've, I've known several people who have owned ET, so it's it's yeah. not it's not that rare. No, you can get one for like thirty bucks on Amazon or eBay. Like, yeah, they're not really? exactly like like the black penny. Yeah. of stamp collectors. Now, like, if, yeah, if you want one like sealed, collectors. or right, but but uh, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, if you want like a one in its in its original box, yeah, yeah, you're gonna That's a different your story. wallet's gonna get nervous, and you're probably gonna have to buy it dinner first. For sure, if you know what I mean. For sure, yeah. But but that rumor was going around for like a long time about the, like the whole landfill thing, and then somebody yeah. finally just went and yeah, they found it. Yeah, and yeah, this isn't from the landfill, but I got one. Yeah, I've had it since. Well, actually, it, I probably didn't get it when it came out. Nineteen eighty-two. Damn. Yeah, that was a long time ago. I was minus Sorry. one when it came <laughs> out. Good. But yeah, no, I I, I I played it before. It's it's, it's not a fantastic game. I, oh no, the no, guy you... if uh, the guy only had like six weeks to like code it because it, they had to get it out for Christmas. So holy crap! Yeah, I mean, I hope he got paid well. Yeah, yeah. I don't know Atari back in the seventies. Yeah. I'm not sure or eighties in this case. I guess. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, that was kind of a, like we had a twenty six hundred. And I vaguely remember, like, my brother's, like, taking it out, like, once or twice. Because uh, this would have been, like, 86, 87 when I was three or four years old. And uh, I remember playing uh, Deadly Discs of Tron. Nice. Yeah. Or I think it's called Ooh. Tron, like, Deadly Discs. That might influence the intro. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was my first, like, m- like video game memories, playing Tron's Deadly Discs. Uh, on the 2600. Rachel? Get oh, 100%. Uh, my buddy, whenever we went over to, like, my dad's friend's house, it's like they had a kid, like, my age, so it's like we hung out a lot. But she had, like, an N64, and oh, we yeah. played, like, the old school, like, Super Mario Bros. Like, all the time. It's, it was such a blast. As some of my age, like, Mario 64 being called old school seems... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, makes right. me feel old. <laughs> it, it's her gif of uh, Matt Damon aging. All right, I'll see what I can do. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, okay, yeah, but you have to understand, right? Like, I wasn't around when, like, yeah, like all yeah, that I know. was coming out, right? So, for me, like, the N64 right. is, like, the OG yeah, gaming console. Which is fair. Okay. But, yeah, no, I was jealous of her, though. My God, I remember, like, we didn't get our first gaming console until PlayStation 2, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, N64 was, like, the original one uh, that I was... PlayStation 2 was, like, early 2000s. I think so? Yeah. I don't know. I remember we had, like, an ATV Off-Road Fury. Oh, yeah, I game. had that. Uh, that <laughs> game oh, was, was so fun. That game was awesome. It had, a, a, like, my favorite part of it was the tag thing, where it's, like, you would, like, drive around, and then, like, you'd have to tag the other person because they had a ball or something. Yeah. 
was, uh, well, I can't remember it very well, but like my god, that like I would spend hours playing that with my sister. Yeah, it was it, uh, off road oh, fury good was good. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. We got like the first one and the second one, and I remember we bought them from the movie store because they were like in the bin to like they were like we were nobody's playing this, and so like we bought them. Yeah, because the games were way cheaper than buying them new, and yeah, like by far one of my favorite games. Yeah, it was a fun one. Now going back though. Like, even though, like, Atari is, like, my earliest memory, kind of, like, my first kind of video game stuff, though, is, like, the Commodore 64. Nice. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is pre-IBM PC stuff. <laughs> this, like, it was literally... Rocking some DOS? Yeah. No, this is pre-DOS. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, like, literally, the, like, the computer was the keyboard. What? Yeah. It was just the I, keyboard. Mike's blowing my mind right now. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> you'd have to hook it up to, like, a TV... You know, you'd have to go around the back and unscrew it and put it on channel two. And Okay, I do remember that. Do, do, yeah. yeah, the TV splitter thing. And, uh, yeah, there was, like, a separate uh, – you could either get a disk drive or you could get a cassette drive because uh, back wow. in the day, a lot of games came out on cassette. Yeah, Neo Geo. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't think I've actually ever Can seen a game it? in a cassette. Yeah, no, that's, well, that's how they did um, – like the old, like it literally, you put it into a tape player, and the computer would tell you, "Press play on tape to get the software running." That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not. Yeah, we we didn't have the. Uh, I grew up with these. <laughs> yeah, carts. But yeah, no, the, oh no, I, yeah, the, the, just the fact that they managed to do that is just crazy. I mean, it, it blew my yeah. mind once I realized that music is physically on. a piece of vinyl yeah it's just uh same with figure cartridges like there's like yeah because i have i'm not an engineer i'm not a coder yeah it just blows me away that's all but the version of the commodore 64 we had it it didn't have the cassette tapes like it it had the big old old five and a half inch like the 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 big floppies the actual (laughs) floppy discs that were actually floppy not just a state icon (laughs) i love that yeah remember playing time trucker yeah. Oh man, I forgot about that game. Y- yeah, Whoa. you know about time travel. I do. Yeah, I do. I only played it like I think twice. Yeah. But yeah, like I what? Re- <laughs> yeah, I remember my parents <laughs> got Time Trucker for me, and uh, nice. Yeah, that that was like my game, the one that like I owned. That was your uh, your, your uh, field. Of, you got a degree in a uh, in time trucking. Time trucker. <laughs> yeah. I love that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that was fun and. Uh, spent a lot of time like I have two older brothers so like a lot of my time was kind of watching them play like more complicated games and stuff like they were playing like the old uh, there was a bunch of like older Dungeons and Dragons games uh, so I remember them playing like Champions of Crane and stuff like that nice that would have been I think late 80s I think yeah but yeah when I when I think of like my gaming memories yeah the Atari was there kind of not though <laughs> But uh, playing stuff on the Commodore 64, yes. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I was all about the Atari. Yeah. Pole position, I played that until the cartridge started to melt. <laughs> Seriously. Wow. Like, like the, uh, what was it? The, the top left corner started to fold over and, like, melt o- like melt to the front. Oh, yeah. You must have been, like, burning rubber in pole position. Hey. Yeah. Well, and But also, Dig Dug. Dig Dug, yeah, classic. Probably, at least in my opinion, one of the best games ever made. It is. It is. You'll have your, you you'll, have, you'll have your detractors disagreeing with me on that. You get I'm the sorry. blow dudes up, literally. Yeah. Yep. And if yeah. you're good enough, you squish them with rocks. Yeah. It's fantastic. So Dig Dug, it's been a part of my life, my whole life. Yep. Did you guys down. ever, that? like, I'm sorry to interrupt. I was going to say, did you guys ever get into the gaming where it's like they were worried about people gaming, so they started making, like, Physical games like the iToy and like Dance Dance Revolution, where it's like you'd actually get up and move. Uh, I I no. played a lot of Dance Dance Revolution. Did you? I still have a pad that I can hook up to my computer. I have the pad too. Like it's for my PS2. Yep. And it's like I have like the game what, and everything, what's happening and right like now? I just have to <laughs> set it up. And I'm just like, there, there's days where I'm like, I could, I could do it. Like it's, there's it's something fun. really like fun about that game yeah i'm terrible at it now but oh me yeah, yeah. same <laughs> so dig dug is a great game yeah <laughs> skipping several generations uh yeah sorry uh, 7800 
yeah, for sure. When, when, but when no, I never, I never got into those like the games like like you needed a peripheral with it. You need like a dance pad or a guitar with buttons on it. See, or, like, yeah. I never got into. I, I couldn't get into was... Guitar Hero because like I, I play like a little bit of guitar. Like, yeah, like, I know how to play guitar. So it's, like yeah, trying weird. to play Guitar Hero is kind of counterintuitive. Intuitive. Yeah. Yeah, like I remember we bought for like my birthday one year. It's like my parents bought Rock Band, but we had to, we were going to hold a birthday party on the Saturday of that week. And I remember staying up until like 2 a.m. every night with my parents playing Rock Band so we could unlock all of the songs. Yeah. So that on Saturday when we had the party, like we could play whatever song we wanted. But yeah, I remember my guitar teacher, uh, we told him that we got rock band. He was like, oh, make sure, like, that doesn't count as practice. And I was like, I know it doesn't count as practice. But <laughs> yeah, it was a literally huge thing nothing like playing a guitar. Yeah, if you, just yeah. because you're good at rock band does not mean you can play guitar. Yeah. I think the no, only th- sure. thing that kind of would transfer is kind of drumming. Yeah. That, that would be it. Maybe, uh, yeah. To a certain extent. I remember my dad was always on guitar. My mom was always singing and I was on drums. And I remember there was, like, one night we were all exhausted because we'd been doing this for, like, five days straight and, like, I, I think I was like in grade nine at the time. So it's like I had to go to school the next day. <laughs> so <laughs> why are you tired? Playing... I was up with my parents playing rock band. No, for real. <laughs> like I actually had an incident where it's like I went to school and I was falling asleep in class. And my teacher was like, why are you so exhausted? And I had to try to explain to her that I was playing video games the night before with my parents. <laughs> yeah. She didn't believe me, but it was still hilarious because like everybody was like, what? Like, that's so fake. And I'm like, no, for real. Like if you come over to my house tonight, like I guarantee you we'll be doing it again. <laughs> Wow. First movie you saw in theaters? Turtles. The original Ninja Turtles movie. Nice. No way! Yep. I love that. Yeah. No, it, yeah, I remember, well, we kind of lived in a, a small town, but, like, I was super into Turtles uh, growing up, as, like, every kid was kind of, like, around my age. And then I saw, I remember seeing, like, the advertisement in the newspaper for a Turtles movie. And, of course, like, back in the day, it wasn't, like, you know, you have the internet where you find out, like, a movie's being made or whatever. Like, I had, like, no reference that, like, oh, yeah, somebody yeah. could make a Ninja Turtles movie. And just, like, you got the newspaper and television. Yeah. That's about it. Like, yeah. I, I don't think I even saw, like, a television advertisement for it. But I just remember seeing that, like, newspaper clippings. Like, Ninja Turtles movie. I was like, Mom, Dad, uh, I... I, I, I gotta go. I gotta go see the. I gotta go see the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I'm sure that didn't freak him out at all. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't quite like that. I'm not sure what you I know. was channeling there, but. <laughs> yeah, but like, same time though. Like that's such a cool memory, right? Is like you saw the turtles like in their prime, essentially. Yeah. Well, that movie was a big deal when it came out. It was also yeah. a fantastic soundtrack. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Par- partners in rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, you got Vanilla Ice for the second movie. <laughs> yeah. That was a bit, of a, da- that was a bad bit of a downgrade. Go, I don't know. Go, it's ninja, ninja, go ninja. Go, go, go ninja. <laughs> yeah. You know, the first one had that T-U-R-T of the power. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. In the half show. do 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 I don't, I don't remember the first movie I ever saw in theaters. But I do remember the first movie I ever snuck into. Okay. And it was Ooh, gra- what is it? Groundhog Day. <laughs> what? You yeah. snuck into Groundhog Day? Yeah, me and my buddy Scott were at the uh, Cineplex Odeon just off of, uh, the highway in Whitby, Ontario. And we were we watched a uh, matinee with uh, John Goodman. Okay, Good yeah. Movie, by yeah, yeah, I've seen matinee, yeah. And then we were just like, we had time to kill and no one was really paying attention. So we were like, yeah. We were like 10. Yeah. Who's going to stop you from going in to see Groundhog Day? Yeah. Right? So we just, just kind of walked in, saw Groundhog Day. Like, that was cool. Yeah. 1993 was a great year for movies. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, like a crazy year. Um, yeah, 92, 93 was. 93 got what? Jurassic Park? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tombstone? Yeah. Uh, uh, Terminator 2? I, no, I don't think. I think so. I don't think that was 93. Okay. We got Jurassic Park, Schindler's List. Yeah. Tombstone. Uh, we're back, a dinosaur story. <laughs> I the the fact that. that you know that that came out in 93 is a little surprising. Uh, in the Line of Fire. Yep. Uh, in the Name of the Father. Yep. Daniel Day-Lewis movie. Amazing. Falling Down. Oh, man, I could go on. Falling for... Down's that old? Yeah, 93. Yeah. Wow. Michael Douglas. Yeah. Going Everyman. That's <laughs> great. Love that movie. Yeah. 
Oh, what else? Uh, Weekend at Bernie's 2. We- <laughs> Specifically 2. Yeah. Uh, the third Ninja Turtles movie. Oh, where yeah. They go, where they go samurai? Yeah, they go back in time. Like, everything about that movie is worse. I still watched it. Oh, yeah. No, More no. That, that was still, yeah. Mom, Dad, you got to take me to see Turtles 3. Oh, yeah. And I'm, I'm, oh, uh, Alive? Alive, yeah. Great movie. Sorry, I, I just totally just, like, hijacked the show. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just fine. listing movies from 93. Rachel, you got a, a first movie memory? Whether it be the first one you saw in theater or something that stands out? Oh, 100%. Uh, I, I don't remember the first one I saw, but I remember my, like, the most memorable one. Yeah. Um, my, my one buddy, his dad was, like, uber rich. Like, just stupid rich. And, um, he was so he was rich like, hey, he owned wanna... Uber. Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> that was the dumbest <laughs> joke ever. <laughs> I actually didn't hear it. <laughs> so like he was Uber rich. So I was like, he's so, he's so rich, he owned Uber. Like, like oh he my was god, rich from Uber. not quite, <laughs> not quite. But um, yeah, I remember he's like, hey, like, what are you doing Saturday? Do you want to go like see a movie? And the Prisoner of Azkaban just came out, and as I think most people know, I'm like the biggest Harry Potter nerd. So I was like, oh my god, yeah, like let's go. But he's like, okay, we'll pick you up at like nine, like in the morning. And I was like, you can watch what? movies at nine in the morning. Yeah, that's what I, like, I was like, I thought the movie, he's like, no, don't worry about it, like, we're gonna pick you up at nine, and, like, my mom talked to his parents, and, like, everything was good, so they came and picked me up, we went in there, found out that his dad actually rented out the IMAX, <laughs> Jeez. And, and, yeah, and he, like, provided, like, uh, pancake breakfast for everybody, we got goodie bags, like, I got a t-shirt out of it, and, like, we went and saw the movie, and, like, we had the entire theater to ourselves, like, just for his, like, company. And I was like, holy crap, this is insane. But, like, it sticks in my mind so much because that's, like, one of my favorite Harry Potter movies. Yeah. And, like, I remember just sitting there and just, like, big eyes and being like, oh, my God, this is the coolest thing ever. But, that, yeah, like, that, that'll that forever be in my head is, like, one of the coolest things, I think, ever. <laughs> yeah, definitely having, like, a, a private showing. Yeah, it was wild. I was out. like, this is insane. Yeah. Did, did, were you able to go play Dance Sense Revolution in, like, the arcade? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah like we like he the entire thing like it wasn't just like the theater where like the movie was playing he rented out the imax for the company so it's like he like we were able to play free games we were able to get like all the food that we wanted like the concession stand was open like he was paying for everything for everybody wow it was insane <laughs> this is definitely memorable yeah yeah i'm gonna rattle off some of the 1993 movies that i just remembered <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Hocus Pocus. <laughs> what's eating Gilbert's what's eating Gilbert Grape? Uh, hey, Hocus true. Pocus is a classic. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you that one. Yeah. I, w- I watched it, but yeah. not my not my thing, but anyways. Oh, well man. no, because oh. like Okay. Oh, you want to talk about Hocus Pocus? We can. Sure. Yo, yeah, I was just gonna mention that like um it's... I recently only found this out. Like one of like uh my favorite actors is in that movie and I had no idea he was in it. Who? It that was Doug Jones. Doug Jones was the zombie. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. The guy had I had, that mess. was one of his first roles in Hollywood. Yep. There you go. See, 90, 1993, he's yeah, killing no, it. Just, yeah. So I'll go back right? to 1993. Yeah. It's it's kind of funny because, like, Hocus Pocus, there's been rumors for years now that they're doing, like, a second one. And I'm like, why? How old is Bette Midler? Like, oh, sh- she's older than Fire. That's for sure. She's, she's, she's not as old as Betty White, though. No. No, but Betty White doesn't exist on this timeline. She's just a theory. No. Yeah. She's, she's like an ethereal being yeah. that just like she literally is the older than sliced bread. Yeah, like, <laughs> which is insane. Phys- physics don't apply to Betty White. <laughs> yeah, no, or Keith Richards. Or time. I would say Keith Richards. Yeah, or Keith Richards. Yeah, apparently like the, those the, two. The current tour again. <laughs> I was gonna say like those two are gonna be the last people on this like planet, like, and the qu- and the queen that, like, of England. Yes. Oh my God. She's, yeah. yeah, it's insane. Well, her mother lived to, like, 107 or something like that, like the Queen Mum, so. How? How? I whisk- how does somebody? <laughs> whiskey, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I whiskey mean, and, if, uh, if you're, like, the royal family in England, you're definitely getting, like, the best medical attention, so. Oh, 100%. You would think. But, like, yeah. I mean, what's, his, what's his nuts? Philip lived till he was 99. Yeah. And he looked like a walking corpse, so. Yeah, like. I don't know. I feel like as cool as it would to live to, like, 107, I don't know. Like, I feel like your body is just done yeah. at, like, at like at like a certain point. It just hits, like, it's, nah, 
nothing nothing's working well anymore. when you like, when you hear about like these people are like 107 it's like they sleep for like 20 hours at the end yeah. of the day that's like, pretty I don't much know it that, yeah like it's it's nuts to me because it's like yeah it's like you get to see so much happen within like your lifetime yeah but near the end you're just you know i don't know i don't know if i'd be cool with that do you remember your first horror movie sure do yeah not really considered horror anymore but at the time it was okay uh jaws yeah uh i'd say that's a horror yeah yeah like i know people it's blockbuster horror for sure yeah yeah like it's it's uh older right so it's like now compared to nowadays it's nothing but uh i remember we just moved to um sylvan lake so like we were gonna go to the beach the next day and i woke up because i couldn't sleep and i went downstairs my parents were halfway through this movie and i was like hey can i stay up with you i can't sleep and they're like yeah sure but this is a horror movie so like just be prepared you might be scared and i was like really excited because it's like i've always been interested in horror but it's like my parents were worried like like about the nightmares and like that kind of stuff so they waited until i think i was about like 13 14 yep to like watch like more horror-esque movies and yeah like i remember going to the beach the next day and i thought jaws was gonna come get <laughs> jaws was gonna get in the fresh water i i, I totally thought so well because like the thing is it's like i was like oh well no but sharks can't live in live in fresh water and then it's like i remember like my parents went to bed and i was like i gotta i gotta find out so i went and, like turned on like the home pc it was like can sharks live in fresh water it's like certain types of sharks like bull sharks can <laughs> yep and oh, so I was sitting there, and yeah, I'm like, no. "Oh my god, I, I'm gonna die." <laughs> yeah, no, I I have friends that that movie permanently like just messed with them. Oh yeah, it's like kind of a known phenomenon. It's insane. Yeah. yeah. But it, yeah, but like I remember because I only watched from like the halfway point on to the end, and then it's like I was like, "Okay, I want to see the whole movie." So then when I watched for the whole movie through and through, mm-hmm. then I was like, oh, "Okay, like." Mm-hmm whatever but like i i just remember like being terrified to go into the water the next day like even like swimming in the lake and then like being underneath the water with like my goggles on like my mind was like there's a shark over there like you, see there's, you gotta get out of the water like and it was just like it was bad like it freaked me out chris so what's your favorite horror movie from 1993 <laughs> <laughs> okay check this out i'm gonna rattle off there's gonna be some repeats but i gotta get this off my chest okay seriously check out these stats yeah the 1993 stats. This, these All these movies came out in one year. Yep. Jurassic Park, Tombstone, Schindler's List, True Romance, Dazed and Confused, The Sandlot, The Firm, which uh, Tom Cruise, a legal thriller. Yeah. Bronx Tale, Last Action Hero, Miss Doubtfire, The Fugitive, Hocus Pocus, What's Eating Gilbert Grape, Cliffhanger, Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Yep. The Crush, which I never saw. Uh, Dennis the Menace. Falling Down, amazing. Groundhog Day, Sister Act 2, Cool Runnings, yes. Uh, Philadelphia, Demolition Man. Oh, yeah. Menace to Society, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Sleepless in Seattle. I'm going to skip a couple here. Carlito's Way, the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> Adam's Family Values, Age of Innocence, In the Name of the Father, one of my favorite movies. Oh, is that back to back, Daniel Day Loops? Yeah, that is. Uh, Three Musketeers. Beethoven second <laughs> in the line of fire I mean, great movie yeah Pelican Brief Homeward Bound oh Much Ado About Nothing Remains of the Day Fire in the Sky yep Free Willy Coneheads So I Married an Axe Murderer Rudy The Secret Garden Page One Done <laughs> I'm shooting myself that was just page one yeah wow yep. oh yeah we're still going Alive I covered that one but amazing movie Gettysburg uh, Jason Goes to Hell mm. Robocop 3 mm. yep this Boy's Life, actually a really good movie. With a, a young DiCaprio and a Robert De Niro. I don't think I've seen that. Father. Yeah. And I don't think a lot of people did, but really good movie. Sorry. Was that like a, was that around the time that Robert De, or Robert De Niro, uh, Robert Downey Jr. was like doing like the drug stuff? Or was this like after he got sober? Robert Downey Jr., what? Isn't that who he said? No, DiCaprio. And, Ro- and Robert oh. De Niro. Yeah. Oh, De Niro. You did say De Niro. Okay, my bad. Yep. I misheard. <laughs> Uh, Leprechaun. <laughs> Work no Davis. Way. Yeah. The Good Son, where Macaulay Culkin oh, played yeah. like that evil kid. Yeah, I remember that. Grumpy Old Men with uh, Jack Lemon, Lemon and Matthau. Yeah, Walter Matthau. Yeah. Uh, what's Love Got to Do with It? The Tina Turner biopic. Yeah. Where uh, Angela Bassett just kicks the crap out of uh, 
I think, who was it? What's it? Was it Lawrence Fishburne? I should probably just look it up here. <laughs> it was Lawrence Fishburne. Hey. <laughs> Beverly Hillbillies, California. California. If you want to see Brad, a young Brad Pitt yeah. when he was like still taking risks with David Duchovny and Juliette Lewis, fantastic movie. This, this is all the same year, by the way. Yeah. Let's look going. Then we got, okay, Wayne's World 2, Searching for Bobby Fischer, Benny and June, Batman, Mass of the Phantasm, Joy Luck Club, Nowhere to Run, the third Ninja Turtles movie. <laughs> uh, oh, what? Oh, man, Ninja Scroll? They made a Ninja Scroll movie? They did, yeah. See, 93, crushing it still. Yeah. See, uh, okay, we're kind of running into like a, oh, Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. Oh, yeah. Poetic Justice with uh, Janet Jackson. The Singleton movie. Yeah, that was good. Swing Kids. Oh, matinee. Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm going I'm sh- yeah. to have to You're, you're so going to have graphics. to do like a 1993 uh, marathon. Montage. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. It's still going. It goes on for... And, 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 and look at, at 2021 for movie releases. <laughs> Actually, speaking of 2021 movie releases, did you guys hear that Scarlett Johansson's suing Disney? Oh, yeah. 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 That blew my mind. Well, it's, it's like she made an agreement to get, like, part of the, like, box office taken, and then they put well, it on Disney+. Plus, so, and they're like, yeah, we're not going to pay well, you no, for that, that. Oh, I didn't know it was that. Like, I knew yeah. that, like, she was mad because of the whole Disney Plus release because they promised the theatrical release. Yep. But, like, yeah, I guess, like, they cut ties with her completely. So, like, every project that she was in for Disney is completely axed now. Yep. Good for her. I was like, holy crap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, when somebody makes a, like, contract with you, like, they're supposed to follow through on it. I don't care how big of a corporation you are. Yep. I'm I'm but... done with Disney. Yep. Sorry? I'm just done with Disney. <sighs> but has, I want to say there I'm been done. Like a, mo- like, a movie that came out this year that's been memorable, though? Like, I... Nope. No. Um. Oh, I got one. The father. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Hundred percent. I didn't see it, so I can't. Remember. Yeah. I I did watch I, uh, Suicide Squad this week. Yeah. How was it? It was it was fun. It was a fun comic book movie. Yeah. If you like Garden, Guardians that. of the Galaxy, like it's James Gunn directing, so. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. A classic horror story I, was good. Yes. That one. Yes. That also was a good. It's one. on Netflix. Yeah. Italian, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, it's, it's really cool because it pays like tribute to like a bunch of like uh, yeah, yeah. Don't, horror. Don't, like, don't spoil it. Yeah. Don't spoil it too much. Spoiling. I'm just. I'm just saying it. Okay. it okay. Yeah. It's like a horror fans horror movie. Yep. Hundred percent. I like the fact that they did. They did a a twist and it kept going. Yeah. Yep. Like it was like. It was one of those twists that you're like, holy shit, and then they just kept running with it. And you're like, oh my god, it's there's yeah. more. <laughs> where, where do you think they would have ended it? They they didn't. And it, yeah. and it was self-aware. Yeah. But not in like, yeah, I, not, they're not bashing you over the head with it. Like, no. They know yeah. what they're doing and they address that. And yep. really, I thought that was good. Yeah. No, it's, it's, yeah, it's on Netflix. I, like definitely uh, recommend it. I think the description says uh, that it's a comp, like if Cabin in the Woods and Hereditary kind of came together uh, to create a movie. Midsummer. Sorry? Oh, Midsummer. Sorry. Yeah. My bad. Um, yeah, if those I two came seen. together to create a movie. And I'm like, that's actually a pretty, like, after seeing it, like, good description. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a while for that description to make sense. Yeah. 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 But, like, it does in the end. Yeah. And it's like, ah, okay. Yeah, I would say definitely one worth checking out. Actually, I got a question for you guys. Sure. Um, what was, like, the first movie you saw that you were, like, utterly disappointed in? Like it was um, like like one where you watched it and you're like okay this is great and then something happened in the movie and you're like ah, I, oh, I'm out of it now. That's uh, yeah, that's a little bit harder. Because um, I have literally been in movie theaters where I've been like the only person watching it, watching a movie and like walked yeah. out because <laughs> it's, it's so bad. Yeah, you're the only person walking out. But yeah, you're, it's, you're it's, the only it's, person it's, in the theater. It's like the the staff member comes in and they see somebody sitting there and they're like disappointed. It's like oh no, I thought I could turn this off, but there's. Some a-hole there watching the movie. <laughs> I, I think that was greed. I don't think I've ever walked out of a movie. Yeah, I, I don't think I have either. Uh, I've, I've stopped watching rentals, that's for sure. Yeah, like, if it, it was a rental, it's like I'll stop watching it. But it's like, knowing how much you have to pay to go to the movie theater, it's like yeah. I'll just sit it out. Yeah, I, I don't... Even th- though if it's like, ah! <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've actually walked out. 
It's pretty much the uh, same thing. It's like I've I've paid to be here, so I've walked into yeah. the wrong movie. <laughs> yeah, like bought a ticket for another one yeah. movie and expected. Then. Yeah, it was um, it was a Canadian movie about like the last days. Like, uh, the Earth is basically ending. Like, yeah, something's happening. Also in the movie as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was a. Uh, it's called the last day. Yeah. And then I wasn't really paying attention. Like I was looking at like, oh, that movie's playing. Like that, uh, this, this theater, I can't remember which one. But what I bought a ticket for was The Last Days. Okay. Which is a documentary about the Holocaust. Oh. Oh, so that's I, bad. So I walk into the theater and everyone's bawling. I'm like, what the hell? What's going on? Like, yeah. I thought this was it's supposed to be like kind of like a romantic comedy and that yeah, like last day on earth. Yeah. And I sat down and just realized like, whoa. I, I mean, it, it was an amazing movie. I think Steven Spielberg produced it. Okay, it was really good. Just not. Just kind of got blindsided wasn't by that. What one. you were looking for? Yeah. 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 That was a. Uh, I mean, I'm glad I watched it. It's really good. Movie. But that okay. initial impact of like you just walk into a room of like 90 year olds crying in the handkerchiefs. You're like, what the? Hell? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little awkward. Yeah, I, I like. I, I think. <clears throat> Sorry, go ahead, Mike. No, I was just thinking, like, I, I haven't... Sorry, did I, I just change the tone to, like, drastically? <laughs> no, a little bit. No. Um, yeah, a movie that kind of disappointed me halfway through. I, I can't really think of anything, like, offhand. I, I did mistake mm. Braveheart for Dragonheart once. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I mean, like, Or, or voice, like, vice versa. Yeah. It's like, I remember I, everybody in school talking, man, this, this movie is so awesome. There's, like, this big, like, Scottish battles. Mel Gibson's in it. It's like, uh, yeah, it's, it's got heart in it. It's like, okay. So then I go and I rent Dragon Heart. It's like, Sean Connery's a dragon. I, I don't, like, it's, it's a pretty <laughs> okay movie, but, like, it's not what people were describing. You see, Dragon Heart has a special place in my heart. Like, I really that was, like, one of those, clip like, Braveheart. Yep. Okay. Do it. <laughs> well, what were, were you it, saying, it, Rachel? Right, stop talking. Because you sounded like you had something to say, so I stopped. No, he just said, I'm going to throw in a clip from Braveheart. Oh, I didn't hear that. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, like, it's I remember awkward. my parents, like, when we were growing up and stuff, like, we couldn't go to the movies, like, a lot when we were younger. So it's like my dad would always come home with, like, a new movie or we'd, like, burn it on, like, the VHS. Like, you would record it on that yep. kind of thing. And one of the, some of the VHS, VHSs we had had, like, three different movies on it. So you'd have to, like, fast forward through one movie to get to the, like, movie you wanted to watch. Yeah. And, like, I remember watching Dragonheart, like, to the point where it's, like, I memorized, like, the Knight's Code. <laughs> like, yeah. I was in love with that movie. <laughs> it, Dragonheart was okay. There's, there's like, six different versions. That, like, this, they're, like, at Dragonheart 6 now. Oh, my God. I saw the second one. Yeah. Because I was, like, I saw it. I think I th- think I saw it on, like, Netflix or something. And I was, like, no way. Like, how can you, how? And then, like, I watched it. I was like, this is so disappointing. Yeah. I think that was one that I shut off. I've only the, seen the, the first se- one. The, the Dragonheart one, the second one, because I was like, this is nothing like the original. Yeah. But, I mean, how can you beat Sean Connery as a dragon? <laughs> exactly. You can't do it. No. <laughs> mm, Picard with a mullet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was, yeah, it's pretty good. Still waiting on Doom. Still waiting on yep. Doom. Yep. I feel like. That's the that's the thing about movies nowadays is like it's always just it seems like it's just copy paste. Like yeah. There's there's so few original movies now that it's just kind of like oh, okay. Yeah, you kind right. you kind of gotta go to like the independent scene to yeah get some like, original stuff. For sure, yeah. which like I think or, is like, or, a good thing. Or go though, to Japan, like a... watch some Japanese movies. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Or Japanese. watch a Nick Cage movie. <laughs> Yes! I'm actually so excited for this. It's kind of stupid. I, f- I forget what it's called, like Ghosts of Something. But yeah, the trailer. The, uh, the, really... prisoner, the Prisoners of Ghostland. Prisoners of Ghostland. Um, yep. Yeah. It, it seems like uh, Nick P- Cage has to pay off some bills, so he's like in everything these days. Yeah, but at the same time, I feel like he's also at the point where it's just like, I'm just going to do it because I want to do it too. Yeah. Like I, like, I think everybody knows Nick Cage is this, like, kind of this, like, cult icon. Like, he has yeah, had or maybe not cult, I yeah. guess, but like you know what I mean. He's had 
yeah. money issues. Well, that too, but still, like, I feel like he's pretty recognizable. Oh, still. for sure. Like, right? Like, he has, like, a following and stuff. Yep. Yeah, no, um, yeah, it's like a weird kind of Eastern, Western thing, and he gets explosives yeah. taped to his nuts. So, <laughs> I, I, I think, like, one of my favorite things in the trailer was that they put in the trailer a quote from Nick Cage saying, this is the craziest movie I've ever effing worked on. He's been in some crazy stuff. Right? So I'm kind of like, I don't know if that's just fake news or if, like, that's legit. Because if this is the craziest movie he's worked on, then it's going to be an insane movie. <laughs> is it the cagiest movie he's ever worked on? <laughs> ha! I have no that's idea a good question. what that, that means. Wasn't there, wasn't there supposed to be a movie coming out with him and, um... Oh, my God. The guy who plays the Mandalorian. I'm blanking on the name. Oh, uh... Um... Hey, Pedro Pascal, right? Yeah, Pedro. Yeah, it's there was supposed to be a movie with them and Tiffany Haddish coming out, and it's like I still haven't heard anything on it because that one sounded super interesting too. I, I want to see Nick Cage in Star Wars. <laughs> yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Who would he play? What like what like what what kind of character would he play? Every, now I'm everybody. Curious. I want to everybody? see Nick, Nick Cage do like a New Hope where he plays everybody. I so agree. Could you imagine a Nick Cage Yoda? <laughs> yep. Gina Carano's working on a new movie. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Say again? Gina Carano's got her new movie uh, up and running. No way. What's that one on? I, I don't think I've heard anything about it. Uh, it's probably going to be on the Daily Wire. Yeah. but uh, That makes sense. Hasn't there been some rumors or s stuff about her, like, actually coming back to... Well, it's... I've heard. Star yeah, Wars, I, I think like, been, those have been pretty much squashed. Okay, they've, they've been squashed. Like she's got. She's oh. definitely like. She's all because yeah, she's making this new movie about um. Basically, a, a truck driver tries to kill this chick. Yeah, and she's like not son, so she goes for out for revenge. Oh, nice, nice. And then uh, I guess they're, they're also doing a TV show of, of it too. Okay. Yep. So yeah, Gina, yeah cause I think isn't so Ben Carano's Shapiro like got a hand in that? Well, he, as far as the Daily Wire, yeah, but like I don't, he's not like directing or anything. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was producing or something. I'm sure the company. Like I'm sure the Daily Wire is. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I, I like I don't know, I don't I, I I'm not I'm not a privy to the financials of the Daily Wire. Yeah. But yeah, no, yeah, they're definitely must be paying for some of it. Yeah. Money's coming from somewhere. So. Yeah. Sad so note, though, going back to the Star Wars thing, uh, John Favreau has, like, actually been trying to get Disney to lay off because he was like, guys, like, you're literally ruining what I had planned. Yep. Like, you need to stop. Like, I, like, he's, I've read a few articles on it, and it sounds like he's, like, this close to just walking. Yeah. Which would suck. Can't say I blame him. I can't say I do either, but, like, that would be insane. Because, like, who the hell are you going to replace him with? Sorry for the swear. What? Hell? <laughs> it's kind of a swear, isn't it? Are we going to have to go H-E double hockey sticks? <laughs> well, no, because, like, I, the, last, the last video that Chris had to edit had so many swears, and I just, yeah. I've been trying to <laughs> Tone it down. lower it, because well, I don't want that again. <laughs> welcome to my world. Like, I, my daily job, I can't swear at all, so... Oh my god, I can't imagine being on air because I feel like I would drop a few f bombs, hundred <laughs> yep. percent. Anyway, uh, any other first first novel that you write? Ooh, uh, Stephen King's Cell it was the first one that I read. Chris, I don't know. Damn, my Lord of the Flies, I think. Okay. Oh, are we going like? Okay, I thought like we were talking about like. Well, I'm, I don't know what we talked about. Novels or, or novels? <laughs> yeah, no, I guess. Sorry, but yeah, no. Lord of the Flies. I remember reading that in school? English, and yeah, everybody had to read it in school. It's a good book. See, that's the. Th yeah. It's a really good book, but like that's the thing. Not everyone in our grade had to read that. Like we had a choice between, Lord of the Flies, Life of Pi. What? There's another one that's, that I can't remember. Very different books. Yep. No, I know, but like that's the thing. Like each teacher had their own 
Curriculum. book that they yeah. wanted us to read. And, uh, so it's like... And To Kill a Mockingbird. Yeah. Never, I've actually never read that. I, I've seen the movie, but... Uh, yeah, I don't think I've read it. Yeah. We did Shakespeare. It's good. I remember doing Shakespeare. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, lots of Shakespeare. <laughs> That's always fun. But, hey, there's like a Shakespeare movie with Picard in it. Or Jean-Luc. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. I, I forget which one. I think he's like King Lear or something like that. Isn't that... Macbeth? Might be, no. Ma- might be Macbeth. Um, Can't remember. Well, I mean, if you look at, like, the majority of, like, people who ended up as Star Trek captains were Shakespeare people. Kate Mulgrew was. Half the cast of Roots ended up on The Next Generation. Yeah. That just blew my mind. I did, I, I did never, wow, Sorry. okay. Yeah. That's why everybody had such gravitas. They were all Shakespeare trained. All right. I, I feel like I feel like we're running out of steam here. Okay. All right. You want to wrap it up? First carnival ride. First what? Oh, carnival ride. Yeah. First carnival Ooh. ride. Drop a doom at the stampede. Nice. Yeah. That was your yeah, first. I had. That was my first yeah, ride. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well done. Yes, uh, well yeah. done. I, re- I remember my hair because my my mom uh, my mom's friend like was like, hey, do you want to go to the stampede like with my kid? And like we went. And I was like, I've never been on like any of the rides or anything like that before. So I was like, I didn't care about the games. I was like, let's go on the rides. On the rides. And I remember I had my hair braided. And uh, when I got off the drop of doom, my hair was wild. Like the <laughs> nice. it, we went down, and like my hair literally like just poof. was like nope. Yep. Yeah. Just like, tried to bail. Home, on you. Like, Say again, sorry. Your hair just tries like yeet itself off the off yeah. the ride. Literally, like, yeah. Hello? So it's like I like I got home, and my mom was like wasn't your hair in braids? Like, cause I didn't notice I was having too much fun, but yeah, like it was, it was hilarious. But yeah, drop of the drop of doom was like one of my favorite rides. Yeah. I, Better the zipper. I can't remember the name oh, the of mine, but it was like a, like, oh, it was like a Ferris wheel, but like you were in kind of like a enclosed cage and it would uh, flip upside down. Zipper. Yeah, like was it was it like long? Like like the, no, the it, middle it, part was long. No, it was like a like a Ferris wheel. Like ex- oh, never except mind. you like it wasn't like fixed. <gasps> oh damn! And, and it'll flip you upside down once it got going. Yeah, it's like yeah, if, if the zipper and the Ferris wheel had a baby. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I know. Yeah, I know. I know exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that's can't, called. Can't remember the name of it. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's called either. But I know. Yeah, I know the one you're talking about. Yeah. It was wildly dangerous. Thomas Amusements in Newfoundland. <laughs> if it, anybody's from Shout Newfoundland. Out. You you know about Thomas Me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine was. What about you, Chris? Oh, the tilt a whirl. Yeah. Oh. I was, was like, <laughs> I was like eight, maybe seven. Yeah. Thereabouts. I cried the whole time. <laughs> I was Did screaming. You? I was screaming at the the operator, like the car guy. Still let me off. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, stop the ride. My my parents were just like, oh god, <laughs> like, what have we done? But it was it was still fun at the end of the day. Yeah. Once I got off, I was yeah. happy as. I haven't swung it. Right? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think I dropped the first one. Yeah, I told the world. Yep. And I cried the whole time. <laughs> I remember we were at Callaway Park, which is like right outside of Calgary. And uh, we, my sister and I were on the Gravitron. And my sister has a thing with fainting, right? What do you mean a thing my, with fainting? Like she she can faint pretty easily. Like a, Like if she gets super pale and just like drops... And like in the middle of the ride, I looked over and she, she got super pale, and I was like, "Oh sh!" And then my mom saw it. She actually stopped the ride like mid ride and like pulled her off. And my sister was like, oh, "I wasn't gonna faint. I wasn't gonna faint." But like, I was like yeah, laying beside her on like the gravitron. I was like, "You were gonna pass out, and that uh, would not have been good." <laughs> oh, no, oh, for sure. Gravitron, gravitron is a classic. Yeah, I, I, I uh, love that ride. We we had a limited problem. selection at Thomas Amusement, so like, yeah. <laughs> sorry Thomas, no shade, <laughs> no. I re- see, the thing is, like, the cool thing about living in Alberta was that like some of like the school, like some of the schools took us to Callaway Park at the end of the year, is like the end of the year field trip. Yeah. The problem was when I I think I was in grade eight. Yeah, because it was like grade eight graduation field trip because you're going from like middle school to high school. So they kind of did like a celebration every year. Okay. And so they decided to take us to Callaway Park, but it was like we were like the first people to walk through and like uh do all the rides and stuff like that. So it's like they like they just opened for the season. And I remember we took a Greyhound down and when we came back up cuz everybody ended up uh eating there. Uh-oh. 
everybody was sick like except like a couple of us like including me because like my mom packed me a lunch because she was like no like just use your money for like if you want to like play games or something like you can just eat right because she yeah. didn't trust the fact that like we were the first people to go through there like they hadn't cleaned anything <laughs> good old like, carny kind of food stuff. so yeah but i remember the entire break correct? on back like everybody was puking in the bathroom and i remember i was texting my parents and yeah. they're like how was the ride or how was the trip i'm like oh it's okay but everybody's uh puking and then they were making fun of me because i spilled not puking an ethnic wrong. group so, again? Uh, sorry no we, me and chris were a little <laughs> tangent for a second oh, okay fair no go ahead c- continue oh i was just gonna say like i spelled puking wrong when i was texting them so it was pucking and my <laughs> parents were like are you guys playing hockey like what like, everybody's what are you talking pucking about? Mother like, no, pucker. Everybody's pucking. <laughs> that could be interpreted in more than one way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they they, they took it in the in the more PG thirteen way because like I was only in grade eight, right? So, yeah, like I that bus stunk. It was terrible because there was people who couldn't make it to the bathroom in time. Yeah. It was bad. As someone who's been on a ship where the majority of the people on the ship were seasick. Oh. I, I yeah, I wasn't though. There you go. Yeah. I mean, that's good. But someone threw at their awful. back throwing up. Like they're throwing up so hard that they... That they threw at their back. Like, yeah. We had to, like, air vacuum <laughs> off the ship. That's insane. That's some intense vomiting. Yep. Oh, that hurt my back just thinking about... Oh, but the lunch at lunch were pretty short, though. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe three meals. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, I, I think uh, we're coming up to about an hour, so we'll probably yeah, wrap, have wrap things up there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Unless someone's got anything pressing that they want to bring up. Um, 1993 was the best movie year, year ever. Yeah. Ever. And um, 2001 was like the best that. year for video games. Ooh. Yep. To be continued. Actually, 98, I think. Whatever year Half Life Half Life came out, because there was a bunch of great stuff that came out then. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that wraps up this edition of <laughs> a minute. <laughs> very smooth transition yeah, there. Very graceful. Very graceful. Beautiful. <laughs> like, an, like an elk. That's why they <laughs> pay me the big bucks of nothing. Of nothing. Yeah, we're, we do this on Saturdays. <laughs> yeah, in our own time. You get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. Exactly. Exactly. But hey, you you folks on you that keep watching. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, make so sure you appreciate like, it. Like subscribe. Leave a comment if you got a suggestion for a topic. Yeah. Loving the bit shoot. Love yeah. being on bit shoot. Yeah. Love. We're, yeah. Happy. We're happy to make content yeah. for, for people. If no one watches, I'll still be happy. Yeah. This is fun. We're not in it for the money. We're in it for the uh, boring, long, ran- rambling, getting into the weeds uh, exactly. conversation. Yeah. Yeah, but that's when you get the best conversation. We, we would have these conversations anyway. We, we just decided to put a camera. Yeah, and it'd probably be a... Never mind. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, we appreciate you. We love you. We do. We do. I'm Michael Forward. I am Chris Raskowski. And... Did you say... What? Did you say Cringe Rick (laughs) Raskowski? No, my name's Chris. I thought you said Cringe for a second. (laughs) This is what I have to deal with. Yeah, yeah. This is what we put up with. Hey! <laughs> Who are you? You guys love me. Who are you? Uh, last time I checked, I'm Rachel Edge. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs>